What's up guys, Renaissance here. Welcome back to the channel. We are in the catacombs of Carthus, this tomb area, um, if you will. Basically, it's nothing but death and despair and skulls apparently here. So pushing forward through this area, remember the giant ball. Um, one way to handle this is when it goes uh, down the stairs over there, just come right over here to the corner. Um, you'll notice a bunch of things just died. Those are rats. And when it goes pack by you, back by you, you can just sprint right by it and roll out of the way. Um, we will destroy the necromancer that is uh, controlling that, but we can't right now. So we're just going to continue on through this area. Go ahead and get our treasure right here. Some Titanite. Always appreciate Titanite. Come on, guy. Oh, this dude is looking... Oh, yeah, there he goes. What are you doing? Oh. Love how the rat decides to try to attack me right as I'm attacking him. Just piles and piles of bodies here, my god. There's a lot going on in this area, actually. Um, we're actually not going to come this way. We're going to go this other way first. While not getting smashed by the giant ball, hopefully. We're also going to avoid that right now. We do see the giant rat daddy mother whatever in here. No big deal to kill those guys. Again, piles of bodies everywhere. Um, now in this area, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, this is a dead end. Second of all, you notice slimes everywhere. Ugh. And the worst kind. Not the kind from the swamp, the kind from the Cathedral of the Deep. You also notice these guys who are called Bone Wheel Skeletons. Um, a callback from Dark Souls 1, actually. Though they are a lot easier to deal with in this game. So we're just going to press forward through here. This is You can't get lost. It's, not a, it's just a dead end. Um, just pick up the Titanite the items as you go. Don't get slimed on. The best way to handle these guys is to just let them kind of roll at you, attack you. As you can see, they're not hard to kill at all. But yeah, just let them roll right to you or past you, however. Very easy to kill as opposed to, oh, Dark Souls 1. Slime lands on you. No big deal. They shouldn't kill you unless you're really low on health. Ugh. I do hate them, though. So there's a bunch of them in this area right here. So what you want to do is just kind of sprint over here, try to pick up that item from the side, and run out of here again. Avoiding the slimes the entire way. Hey, we got a lucky drop with the bone wheel shield. So once I get out of this slime city, we will read the bone wheel shield and the Carthus blood ring. Remember in the last episode we picked up the Carthus milk ring? This is a version of that. So there's the uh, milk ring, here's the blood ring. So it boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. Sand Kingdom Karthus. The sword technique of Karthus allows for the fluid movement with the card sword. Um, and basically, it actually says like almost the exact same thing as the milk ring. And then the bone wheel shield. Not a great shield. Um, mainly because it's a, literally a great shield type shield. Um, but it's it's very heavy, 15 pounds, but it's not really as good as other shields. I um, mean, you know, stability is only 59, whereas this Lothric shield, they weigh the same, but the 
Lothric Shield just has better defense in every category, better durability, and better stability. So. Just ignore that path for, right, for now. Um, also ignore that path. What you want to do is come over here, and again, you notice one of these like protrusions that's like sitting on a wall. That's because it's fake. <laughs> So you can actually come up here and now you'll notice something uh, strange about this guy. He's got white eyes as well, like the regular skeleton. So you know what that means. Grave Warden's ashes. He is going to respawn. Yes. So be aware of that. There we go. Get those Grave Warden's Ashes. Umbral Ash of the Grave Warden of the Catacombs of Carthus. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrements. He ended his days a Grave Warden and carried them still. Nice, nice. Now you can continue along the path here. See this guy patrolling. You'll see that guy and you'll see hey could it be the sorcerer so first of all we want to go ahead and aggro this fine gentleman right here go ahead and take care of him the reason we wanted to do that is because we want to actually come at this guy kind of from the back side, not the far side, because he will actually run away from you. Oh, we still miss. Damn it. Here we go. Erg. There he is. That's why I hate this guy. He will run. So that's the, the necromancer controlling that. Yeah, you just heard it explode. We'll go check it out in a second. Anyway, continue back over here. Um, you'll notice this is actually right out here. So you can go up that way, but if you go up that other, through this hidden path over here, um, it just kind of gives you better access. Little crab, Mr. Crabs. And you can get a dark gem from where that uh, that skeleton ball just uh, broke apart. And this guy is shooting fire arrows, so very easy to just kind of get behind and pummel to the to the dirt. He actually dropped a bow for us. Get your Carthus Rouge, and you'll notice we've been over here right this is just where yeah I mean you know that, that's where we came in originally and we went that way to get to the bonfire and you could drop down right there but we're just gonna go down this way right here so we've explored all of this little area um, the only other two places we can go over here is through here which, as you can tell, is locked. So we actually cannot go through there. Oh, Night Slayer Sorig. Thought he would only invade you from the other side. Oh God, we're dead. <laughs> I don't, well, anyway, you get, you get my thanks from him. I don't know why he invaded right there there he usually invades when you come through the other side but apparently he can invade right there as well um so we do want to go ahead and ember again that's fine we get our estus back no harm no foul let our skeleton ball continue on and yes it will respawn so that chaos uh Necromancer guy does respawn, so just be aware of that. 
I would recommend, recommend um, coming over here and killing the rat. Or the rats. Just because when you're fighting um, Night Slayer Sorig, you don't want to have to you don't have to deal with that nonsense. So let's go back over here and see if he'll spawn again. There he is. So you can go ahead and get the easy free backstab on him. Now with this guy, you do not want to block. Um, if you block, you will be in for a bad time. The best way to kill Sorig is to just get some spacing on him and poke him from a distance. There you go. Easy as pie. As you saw earlier, if he hits you, it hurts very badly. <laughs> Night Slayer's Ring. Uh, enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Ring of the Savage Sorig, mo more commonly known as the Night Slayer. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Long ago, Sorig engaged the guardians of an ancient city in a bloody confrontation and returned with their rings as his prize, still frozen on their dismembered fingers. Um, again, another callback from Dark Souls 1. Night Slayer Sorig often could be known as uh, Iron Knight Tarkus. So we killed him. So now we want to come through this direction over here. We can go ahead and fight this gentleman. He quit buzzing around like a bumblebee. Ugh. Die. Then we're just gonna come through this direction. Go ahead and get your uh, your weapon two-handed so you can be prepared for this guy. Kill him and get your fire gem. Um, this dude, you can kinda sneak up behind here. Well. You can push them right off. Suspended bridge is wearing thin. Yeah, no kidding. Bug pellets. Suspended bridge is wearing thin. So now you can see we're on the other side of this area. Go ahead and apparently glitch on top of the lever, but go ahead and pull that, open up that. Yeah, I guess you could call it a shortcut. It's not really a shortcut. And so now there's um, some interesting stuff going on that I will go ahead and explain. First of all, if you look closely, oh, look who it is. Henri, she's moved locations. Um, now she will not be there if you're still, if you haven't died or teleported anywhere or safe quit the game. Um, she'll still be back where you found her when you first entered the catacomb. So you do want to either save quit or rest a bonfire or something to get her to uh, move to this area. But from here, there's two paths we can take. Well, there's three things we can do, really, and two paths we can take. We can either go up there and talk to Henri if we want. Um, another thing we can do is run across this bridge. Um, of course, that's the only way we can really go to progress. When we get on this bridge, however, um, all these bones will become skeletons. And when I say all, I mean all. It's about 15 skeletons, something like that. Uh, 10 or 15, maybe. They will all reanimate or animate and start chasing you. So that you can do one of two things. You can either continue forward into what will become the boss room, or you can cut this bridge down, which we will illustrate. And um, when you cut the bridge down, it will it will fall, and all the skeletons will fall with it. So first of all, before we even deal with that, we actually want to come over here and talk to Henri. Hello, Henri. Are you okay? Ah, oh, hello. We meet again. 
Have you seen horrors anywhere? Oh yes, I searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace, where have you run off to? Oh, Horace, you... Oh, Horace, you... So we don't, again, we haven't found Horace, so we there's no other option that we can tell her. Um, so what we want to do is go ahead and run across this bridge, and you'll notice something. Oh, would you look at that? Dozens of skeletons. So go ahead and chop that thing. And they will all fall, granting you a couple souls, but mainly a bunch of dead enemies. Um, now, I do not recommend continuing this path right here. Um, this is where the boss of this area is, and there is some stuff that we would like to do before we fight the boss. So, what you want to do is the bridge turns into a ladder, and the ladder you can climb down. A, a hint that you can come down here, honestly, is the fact that there's items down there. So you notice these items. It's kind of like a hint that, hey, you can come down here. And in fact, if you look carefully, you can actually see something interesting. Is that Horus? Hmm. Hmm. So we'll find out, won't we? So anyway, proceed. And uh huh, a fire demon in waiting. So this is an interesting. There's an interesting uh, like strategy you can use to fight this guy. Um, basically, there you see the chest over there. By the way, the, the fire demon hits pretty hard, so he's not an easy enemy by any means. That chest is actually, which you can even see from here, it's breathing. That chest is actually a mimic. You can actually hit that mimic once and have it jump down there and fight this fire demon. Um, and then you just kill whoever's left, which usually will be the fire demon, but sometimes the mimic can kill it. You could do that, or you could just, you know, come down here and fight. Which is what I would recommend doing. The fire demon is, uh, it, he's not an easy enemy to kill by any means, but... He's not that hard to fight. Just stay below him, per the usual. The really annoying thing, honestly, is all the, uh, skeletons that join this fight. Oh god. So just stay under him. He's gonna go supercharged. Don't let him land on you. Not sure how he hit us there. Or killed us there. So you can see when he goes supercharged, he's uh, he's actually quite difficult to kill. Um, it's not really a big deal though if he kills you because we've opened up some shortcuts now that'll make getting him a lot quicker. So of course, go ahead and let your skelly ball come down here. Kill the rats. Of course, now we can just go right through here, avoid all that, and we'll already basically be back down to the, uh, the fire demon. We just have to slice the bridge again, really. I do like to go ahead and kill these guys just because they'll follow you over the bridge um, if you don't. Didn't get all of them, unfortunately. That's okay. Now, 
Now we will try the mimic strategy. It, it hasn't worked well for me personally in the past, but um, it's worth trying, I guess. So again, just come over here. Don't let them do that. He should go over there and fight this guy. Well, the Mimic killed him, unfortunately. So, or, uh, he killed the Mimic, unfortunately. So we are going to have to fight this guy the uh, old-fashioned way. Which, again, is no big deal. pick up the black blade which came from the mimic Ow. Woo. dang <coughs> so close to dead probably he was probably like one hit away from death it's fine. We will get them. And if it takes too many times, I'll just edit it out. So. He is annoying, though. He's, um, for our, especially our level right now, where we're level 38, um, he can be annoying. And we don't have very, uh, we do have a lot of souls that we're sitting on, but... I didn't kill the rats. There he goes. And no worry anyway. Again, it doesn't take long to run to. So that's why I never worry about it. If I die to him a couple times, um, it usually doesn't bother me that much. Just because he's so easy and quick to get back to, really. So now we won't have the Mimic to help us, unfortunately, which is fine. We do want our souls, though, I'll tell you that much. He's really not dangerous until he gets to that second phase. Well, I say that. And we're dead. So I may just edit out all of these, this dying. So we'll see you when he's beaten, probably.
one good thing about this is we're getting like 15, 16, maybe 1800 souls every time we do this, so. Excuse me. Huzzah! We did it, fam! <laughs> Wait, it really, it, I might not even edit it out, honestly, because we literally just did it on the next try. But the guy can be a hassle. The best, like, kind of strategy I found is to get him to come up the stairs and attack him while he's going back down them, and then do plunging attacks whenever you can. Um, anyway, continuing on, there are a lot of reanimating skeletons down here down here and I do mean a lot again watch out too because they can all parry but I am not joking when I say there's at least 15 or so odd skeletons total if you count like all the resurrections of them you think oh you're done false they just keep coming Come on. Come back to life. You can see this takes a minute. Did get a schematar out of it. Random drop, by the way. Also, the black blade, I forgot to read. Um, that's what we got out of the mimic. So, a short katana wielded by the swordsman and distinguished guest of High Lord Wolnir. This shiny black blade is thick but shorter than the typical katana. The swordsman was a master of a rare technique, traces of which can be observed in this weapon's strong attack. Um, not a bad katana. I like the Uchi katana a little bit better just because it's um, a little bit longer, I believe, but um, it's not a bad katana by any means. Schematar's flesh rending slash attacks are greatly compromised against armor and tough scaled hides, so nothing really going on there. Oh, these friggin' skeletons, man. They never stop, I swear. So after you finally eradicate all these dang skeletons, disregard. 
I said after you <laughs> finally eradicate all the freaking skeletons. Come on down here and there will be an item. And a bonfire! <laughs> we saw you. Old Sage's blindfold and the witch's ring. So perfect pyromancy right here. Um, and now you have the two uh, best things for pyromancers. You have both the uh, pyromancy rings. So the great swamp ring, which we found in the swamp when we killed that crab, boosts pyromancies. The witch's ring greatly boosts pyromancies. The witch of Isolith and her daughters, scorched by the flame of chaos, taught humans the art of pyromancy and then offered them this ring. Every pyromancer is familiar with the parable that tells of the witches espousing the need to fear the flame and teaching the art of pyromancy to men in hopes that they might learn to control it. Attire of pyromancers of the Great Swamp, particularly favored by old sages. The large blindfold blocks out unnecessary light, allowing one to observe a pyromancy's true essence. The flame reveals all and obscures all. Um, so, talking about the witch, they're talking about uh, Daughters of Chaos um, for Dark Souls 1 again. Um, Quelana recommends that we fear the flame, and uh, she she's actually one who teaches you all the pyromancy stuff or most of the dope pyromancies at least in uh, Dark Souls 1 so we can get to this bonfire it is called the abandoned tomb um, there's some more stuff we want to do um, basically this area that we're about to enter you can actually do it um, it should pop up any second now with the name also it's a beautiful looking area smoldering lake well, this is beautiful at least um, so there's a couple things going on in the Smoldering Lake that we, we'll talk about um, and that what we'll do. First of all, you, that noise you'll hear, there is a massive three-pronged ballista um, up on a, a cliff up there. Oh, you can actually see it. Interesting. Woo! Shouldn't be able to hit you from right here. Yeah, that, that behemoth thing right there. And it... It will track you and shoot you. It shoots three, um, three shots, basically, as you can hear. And it will hit you. Um, there's items all throughout this area. There is actually a boss literally right there. And then a, a whole area to go through. Um, not that you can see right here, but uh, we'll, we'll go get the bonfire just to show you. But um, yeah, there's a, this is a busy area. We're not going to do this area just yet, though. We are going to briefly stay here, but um, not for long. What you want to do, though, is be listening for when you're running around out, out in this... I, I'll call it a fire swamp or a swamp, but it, it's just water, I think. Um, you want to listen and make sure you dodge when that ballast is shoots. So what we want to do is just I'm try to run out here. Get our Titanite. You notice this fine gentleman here. This massive worm creature. All you want to do is pick up the items and run either around or in him. It's your call. Oh dang, he killed us. So it, I was being a little greedy there and going for the items. That's okay. We got the main one that we wanted. <laughs> we got the best one out of the bunch. So the item we just got, awesome, awesome item. The Shield of Want. Oh, Shield of an ancient king who was cursed by an all-consuming thirst. In the end, he was no king. The residue of the king's lust still smolders within the shield, increasing the number of souls absorbed when enemies are defeated. That's right. This shield allows us to, along, it stacks with that uh, covetous silver serpent ring, um, allows us to get more souls. So, very, very useful item, um, which we are going to take full advantage of right now. First of all, we want to come back out here and try not to die because we had about 100k souls. 
but we just want to run. Make sure we're dodging the ballista. There's our worm friend. Don't worry about the worm. Can't get through him right there, unfortunately. So he's gone. Oh. Lost our hundred thousand souls. That's unfortunate, man. Oh, the salt is real. Oh well. You live and you learn, boys and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Don't be like me. It's just it's not smart. <laughs> Why you come over here? Seems pointless. Anyway, keep running. to the other freaking side of this worm. Yes, right here. This is the safe spot. <laughs> so what we want to do is basically sit right here. And it should, yes, as you can see, it should be hitting this worm, the ballista. So I'm gonna actually probably fast forward through this part of the uh, the video just so you don't have to sit here and watch this guy die, unless the ballista can hurry up and kill him quickly, which is debatable. Let's see, yeah, it's taking its time. Oh, he's hitting him. Right? It might not actually take too long. You might not have to fast forward through it. One, two more hits, maybe? Yep, there it goes. He's dead! <laughs> Lightning stake and undead bone shard. Awesome. Very useful. And you want to quit quickly after that thing dies. Quickly sprint up here. Get your Titanite. And then, boom, bonfire, woohoo! <laughs> Go ahead and light that. And we're gonna ember up, like I said, we're not gonna fight this boss, but we are gonna ember up just to show you that there is a summon sign right there um, for the boss. It is Night Slayer Sorig, hey! <laughs> but we're not gonna worry with it right now. What we are gonna worry with is not getting smashed by this freaking ballista while still collecting the uh, items in this area, if we can. So yeah, you can you can pretty well iframe uh, dodge the ballista, but doesn't make it any less annoying, unfortunately. Oh. Dodged a little too early. really just coming in here to get these titanite but what you want to do is just hug this right wall when you come down and you'll notice as you're hugging the white rock wall the right wall you'll notice a little path hmm interesting though and 
coming into this path, of course, is Titan Eye Lizard. Go ahead and kill it, get your twink. And then guess what? Another Titanite Lizard! <laughs> They're everywhere. This one will start hauling ass away from you though, so be aware of that. If you miss, it's no big deal. Oh, we still ended up killing him. Look familiar? Horus, no! <laughs> Horus is going hollow. Remember, that's where we saw him from, was up there. So yes, Horus is now hollow. That's no big deal. We'll just have to kill him. He's very easy to kill. He's a very simple NPC to kill. Oh, he's fat rolling, unfortunately, for him. They're, the easiest way to kill him, like, it, like as you can see, is just R2s. Oh. oh, so you think you're nice now, Horus. He's got some poise. That'll do it. The Llewellyn shield, huh? Oh, Horus. Also, this is not a great shield, but... It's a metal shield crafted by the Great Smith, fashioned from rare guy steel. It excels at various types of damage absorption. Eh, it's debatable. <laughs> Go ahead and get our large Titanites. And they should be some bug pellets, I think. Yeah. And there's one last thing that we want to do. Uh, we'll just go to the last bonfire rest of that, I think. And it might take a, might take up a minute. Well, we are going to probably not actually edit this episode. <laughs> so, anyway, that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And we will see you next time, guys. Bye.